Welcome back to GMP's world. Mm -hmm. Here's our kitchen, and today we're gonna be doing some more air frying. We're gonna fry up some lovely tilapia fillets. We got mm -hmm. some African yam. When we have good old plantains. Yeah. So this comes from uh, one of our comments. They uh, wanted to see how we could air fry these or how they turn out. So here we are, doing what the comments want us to do. Doing what the comments want us to do? <laughs> <laughs> doing what one of our viewers want us to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> we listen to the public. Yeah. If you have any requests on any food you want us to try with the air fryer, just let us know in the comment section both below and we'll definitely bring you away. We'll get freaky with it. <laughs> All right, so we are now deciding how much of our African yam we want to eat. Yam. Uh -huh. Well, she just calls it yam. Yeah. Well, we call it African yam. Because in America, when we think of yams, we think of uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, so like the orange look like potatoes. And every time I say, yeah, we can't find yams anywhere, everybody's like, you can't find yams? They're all over the place. They're like, no, 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 no. That's, African yams. That's bad. Oh, is the whole bottom section bad? I think so. Whew. This doesn't look good. Or yam yeah, might be junky. I'll probably just we'll like, see. cut it off. Look at that skill with a knife though. Like a pro. <laughs> I'm a pro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How'd they do it back home? <laughs> Uh, whoops! I'm gonna be making them like, um, uh, what's the name? Fries or chips? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Right. I mean, cutting them that way. Yeah. Good old yam chips. Yeah. So I feel like we're frying the yams, we'll probably need like a pretty high temperature. I feel like. Yeah, I think we'll. Very hot. So, on the air fryer, while she's cutting those, those won't take very long. So I'll go ahead and preheat the air fryer and get that rolled. Power bump. Power. Touch. Doesn't like him anymore. There we go. Um, go in. Temperature. We need it hot, I think, so we'll still keep it at 400. For maybe 20 minutes, probably do it. And we actually got cooking spray instead of not knowing what we're doing. Chunky fries. All right, I feel like this thing heats up pretty fast, so we can probably just put them in the air fryer basket, spray them in there, and salt them. I don't think we need to spray the yum. I think we might need to. And now we're slicing up our nice plantains. Yeah, the big bananas. I don't think they like it when we call them bananas because they're not really bananas, but. Yeah. They're pretty well bananas. And how are we slicing our bananas? Chunky? Uh, no. Maybe, no, no, no chunky. Okay, more like chips, kind of? Yeah, yeah. A little chips. tiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Adding a little flavoring, so we salted our plantains, and now we'll add just a dash of our uh, red pepper. A nice cayenne hot stuff. We'll mix it up. Uh oh. Mm. So yeah, before we season the fish, we're gonna start frying our yams first. So we'll yank this bad boy out, nice and hot. So we'll uh, give everything a nice spray. and see how that goes. There we go. Dump in our 
yams. Give me just a touch of a spray. Get them a little coated, looking good. And uh, let's take them back in. So how long are we going to fry that? Uh, it's at 16 minutes, so we'll check it uh, in about 10. See how it goes. Let's start them again. So I read a video where it, I think it said to spray them with oil, put your seasonings on, and then we'll pop them in the fryer. So we'll give them a quick uh, little, little spray. Then we'll add a little salt. white pepper to get all your technique down so, I need a bit of some hot stuff and last special ingredient our carne asada season Alright, here we are. Checking some of our yams. How do we kind of. It's really hard. That is super hard. And it looks. Some of them looks like it's slightly bent. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the smaller ones. I think we need more oil. Make them crispy. <laughs> Do we make rocks? <laughs> <laughs> It's so hard. Hmm. What do you think we did there? I don't think, are we gonna be able to eat that? It's too hard. How, what are we gonna do with this? <laughs> I think, did we cook it for too okay, long? Okay, okay. This is good. It's good? I think it depends so, on like the... It's so crispy though, like very hmm. hard. Let me see. Yeah, but I find like that it's good. Hmm. Try it. Ooh, it's gonna be hot. Maybe if we're to like uh, put in fries, like the frozen fries will come out well because I, I know someone who did it and it came out well. Yeah. But it's like yum. I don't know why we should have done differently. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's too hot. Mm -hmm. I feel like they got really dry. Yeah. So maybe we did it for way too long. How many minutes was that in? 16. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. But this is soft. Mm. So I feel like it depends on the. Um, the size of the uh, of the yam. Mm -hmm. If it's very small or tiny, then it gets very crispy. Hmm. Yeah. Good. Yeah, not bad. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I need to eat it before the food is ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. What? It's good. Yeah. Yeah, because this ones are soft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're calling that done. Cook the yams on 400 for 16 minutes. Yeah, but maybe you should probably do it for like less than minutes because yeah. some of them really came out very hard or crispy. So. Right. Maybe like 12, 10 minutes? Yeah. Probably. I think it's best to do it for like 10 minutes or less than minutes. Then you check it. If it's not enough, you put it back in. Yeah. yeah but I think some people also like it this way. Like my sister and I don't like something very crispy like this. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So we're moving on next to our plantain. All right, so for our plantains, we're gonna try not to make the same mistake. And we will uh, put it in there for maybe, probably a lesser temperature, I would think. Okay, so with the risk of destroying our plantains, I'm gonna check it out at uh, five minutes, see what happens at 300. Ooh. Yeah, we might be done in there. We might be done here. Yeah. Keep going. I think we should keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're fine. Done. Okay. Well, better safe than sorry. Our plantains got done, more or less. 
We had to keep uh, adding a little oil and trying to refry them and they were kind of getting brown. We're just very used to like frying them in a big vat of oil and they just look different, so. Yeah. See how it goes. So yeah, it said to add some kind of baking sheet or paper so I guess the fish doesn't like go in the grooves. And then we'll need to spray that with a little oil. Okay, that parchment paper is good up to 400 degrees, so it should be fine. Slap that guy in. And we'll spray him around a little bit. Lovely. And slap you in there. And we'll go with, uh, I think all the most of the recipes were around 300. So we'll go with like 315 for 10 minutes. Yeah, I got to work. Ten minutes in the old fryer. Looking pretty good. You need to turn it? I think so. It was good. Yeah. So we are finally done cooking. We have everything laid out and we are ready to eat. Yeah. Ready to devour the food. Oh yeah. Took it long enough. Yeah. We may have some quirks or things will change in the future on how we do it. We'd probably fry the yams and the plantains at one time. Add more oil. Um, and spray more oil. Spray more oil. Um, then we can do the fillets in the oven because we did it all individually and we kept like waiting and looking. So it took us like hour and a half, hour and 45 to cook all this stuff. Yeah. And air fryer is supposed to be fast and easy. But, yeah. Oh. I think it's just the way we did it though. Like yeah. you were saying, you could have just fried the plantain and then the, the yams together. No, yeah, to reduce the cooking time. Mm -hmm. But we didn't do that, we did it separately. Right. And um, I like the outcome, but mostly when I fry my plantain in oil, like deep fry it, it comes out more golden. Mm -hmm. As well as the yams, it comes out more golden. But because we air fried, it didn't come out so golden like, like I expected. Um, so, I mean, it's still good, I'm sure. It might be good. Let's Maybe. try it. We'll see. Alright, we'll see. It's still good, but to be honest, I prefer to like deep fry it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But this is healthy because you don't need to deep fry it. You know, you don't, you don't need to do with all the oil. Yeah, not as much. Yeah. Oil. But right. it's good. But I prefer to like deep fry it. I don't mm -hmm. know. I just want that golden, you know, <laughs> plantain that I'm used to eating. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people hate change, right? So. Mm -hmm. right. We had a little Chick Fil A sauce for yams. I feel like they might need a little little help. And the yam is good too. Yeah. yeah. The other thing is we fried it way too long, like you mentioned earlier. Early, yeah. Yeah, so it was very, very hard. And dry. <laughs> yeah, then we didn't spray any oil on it too. That's why. Yeah, true. We barely put oil the first time. Yeah. We are still learning. Hopefully, we get good with using the stair fryer. Yeah. If you have any tips for us, just let us know in the comment section. So yeah guys, the food turned out really well and we uh, enjoyed the fish. When we were editing, we realized that we lost the footage of us trying the fish. But the seasoning turned out well, um, the flavor was nice. Uh, maybe could have left it in just a little bit longer to get crispy. But overall, fish was a success.